హలో ఎవరి వన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ దిస్ ఇస్ గుంటూరు మెడికల్ కాలేజ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ అనాటమీ ఇన్ దిస్ డిసెక్షన్ వీడియో వీ విల్ సీ ద ఎక్స్టర్నల్ ఫీచర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద హార్ట్ దిస్ హార్ట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు లర్న్ అస్ ఫైవ్ పార్ట్స్ ఫర్ ద ప్రాక్టికల్ ఎగ్జామ్స్ ఫస్ట్ ఈస్ ఎక్స్టర్నల్ ఫీచర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద హార్ట్ టూ ఈస్ ఇంటీరియర్ ఆఫ్ రైట్ ఏటీన్ త్రీ ఈస్ ఇంటీరియర్ ఆఫ్ రైట్ బ్యాండ్ చెప్పి ఫోర్త్ ఈస్ ఇంటీరియర్ ఆఫ్ లెఫ్ట్ బ్యాండ్ చెప్పి ఫిఫ్త్ ఈస్ బ్లడ్ సప్లై ఆఫ్ ద హార్ట్ ఎనీ ఆఫ్ దీస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ మే బీ కెప్ ఫర్ యూ ఇన్ ద ఫస్ట్ అండ్ బెస్ట్ ప్రాక్టికల్ ఎగ్జామ్స్ so in this first video we will see the external features of the heart so as soon as uh, the heart is given for you in the exams you will be asked to show keep the heart in the anatomical position so this is the way to keep the heart in the anatomical position we have to keep the apex to the left as if uh, this uh, be, this hand you should consider this as the diaphragm so diaphragmatic surface should be on the palm of the hand apex to the left so that is the way to keep the heart in the anatomical position so now we will learn the external features of the heart first as i told this is the apex of the heart so this is uh, formed entirely by the left ventricle so this apex is pointed and downwards and it is present in the left fifth intercostal space so the students should understand the difference between the apex of the heart and the apex of the fibrous pericardium apex apex of the fibrous pericardium is present at the uh, upper part but apex of the heart is present in the lower left part and it is apex weight is felt at the left fifth intercostal space so this is the apex base of the heart so base of the heart so this is the base of the heart base of the heart or posterior surface so students should understand only in two uh, visceras we will tell base as posterior so this is the posterior surface or base of the heart which is more fixed part of the heart which is formed both by the left atrium and by the right atrium so this is the apex of the heart formed both by the this is the right atrium and by the left atrium so this is the base of the heart or the apex or the posterior surface of the heart then the surfaces of the heart so this is the sternocostal surface sternocostal because this part will be related to sternum and these parts will be related to the ribs so the student should differentiate between the costal surface of the lungs which is en- uh, entirely related to the ribs and this is sternocostal surface because it is related in the middle part to the sternum and on either side to the ribs so this co- sternocostal surface if you see it is formed by all the chambers so this is the right atrium right ventricle left ventricle and in the uppermost part you can see the you can see the part of the left atrium also so it is formed by all the four chambers so that is the sternocostal surface so what i am showing here this is the diaphragmatic surface so this diaphragmatic surface is formed by the both the ventricles you can see this is the right ventricle and this is the left ventricle this is left ventricle and this is the right ventricle two third by the left ventricle and one third by the right right ventricle so this is the posterior interventricular groove running in the diaphragmatic surface so this this is the base of the heart mainly formed by the two third by the left atrium and one third by the right atrium and this is the diaphragmatic surface two third by the left ventricle and one third by the right ventricle if you see on the sternocostal surface in between these two ventricles right ventricle and left ventricle are you seeing this is the anterior interventricular groove so anterior interventricular groove is present in the sternocostal surface and posterior interventricular groove is present in the diaphragmatic surface now we will see the borders borders of the heart this is the right border of the heart extending from superior vena cava to the inferior vena cava formed entirely by the right atrium and this is the inferior border of the heart formed by the right atrium right ventricle and left ventricle and this is the left border of the heart and formed mainly by the left ventricle and a small part by the left atrium so we have seen the apex this is the base sternocostal surface this is the sternocostal surface and this is the diaphragmatic surface and this is the right border inferior border left border so this is these are the features we have seen now we will see the grooves on the external surface of the heart this when you are given external features of the heart in the exam you have to see tell along with the grooves are you seeing this 
uh, in between this is uh, right atrium right ventricle left ventricle so there is a one circular sulcus around this that is called coronary sulcus this is disturbed in the front by this origin of this great vessels so it will be divided this coronary sulcus in the front will be divided into right and left parts if you see in the back coronary sulcus is clearly visible or you think so this is the coronary sulcus so this coronary sulcus or atrioventricular sulcus in the posterior part contains this is the coronary sinus which is the vein of the heart so in the posterior part contains the coronary sinus in the anterior part arteries are present if you see this anterior interventricular groove which contains anterior interventricular artery and the great cardiac vein if you see this posterior interventricular groove it contains posterior interventricular artery and middle cardiac vein this coronary dominance is uh, indicated by which this posterior interventricular artery takes origin from right or left if it takes origin from right it is called right dominance and if it is taking origin from left it is called left dominance so in the external features of the heart along with the surfaces borders we have seen in detail the grooves also so this is the coronary sulcus and this is the anterior interventricular sulcus and this is the posterior interventricular i hope you should have understood the external features of the heart in detail with the next dissection of the heart interiors of the chambers we will see in the next video thank you